Mrs. Davina. This tutorial is in response to a request from one of our friends, Renetta, asking if we could show her how to bring several images into GIMP and display them on a white background. She has a business selling outfits and she wants to be able to bring several images of her outfits into one and display them in a pleasing fashion. So this is a response to it. What you need to do obviously is open GIMP up and I've opened it up and I've also gone up to Windows and I've clicked single window and it brings it all together. If you have got something like this, the three, then when you come in, click and it becomes single. The next thing I'm going to do is create a new document. In this instance, I think I'm going to have the width 600 pixels and the height 800. And it's at 72 pixels per inch. That's OK. So this is the white background, the basis. Or the image. The next thing I'm going to do is to bring in, I think it's five images, but I'm going to bring them in uh, and click open as layers because if I open them, they will be five individual documents and we want them all in one document but on different layers. So I will click open as layers and then I will go to where. I want to bring them in and that is one of them. I'm going to pause it here because you don't really want to see me bringing them in. All these images I brought in are PNG and they are on a transparent background and if I knock the eye off the background you'll see that the top one which is model, if I click on the move tool I can move her. You can see she's on a background. And I brought in a scarf, shoes. You can't see the shoes because it's hidden by the scarf, but they're there. The hat, and this is a sling bag. And this is quite interesting. It's much, much too big, and I'm going to have to reduce that in size. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So it doesn't really matter what order they're in, but they're all on different layers. And the great thing about it is you can move them about. So the scarf, uh, the red sling bag, you can see that. I'll pause here whilst I bring all these others to the right size. You can see I've brought the bag down, but I want to do the scarf. If I click on scarf, and you know you've selected that layer. If you don't select the layer, then you can't do anything with it. If you want to keep it in proportion, click and hold the control key, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, and click and drag, and you can see all it's doing is going like that to the size that you want it. And then click and scale. And move to to move it, and these are the same. Play around with the different sizes. The shoes obviously were a lot smaller, but I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scale that up and click on the scale to hold control down and drag on the corner and click scale. And that's a little bit bigger. And this is where your creativity comes in. I'm just using these images. They're all free, um, public domain, copyright free images that I've got uh, from a couple of sites that I use. And if I click the background, you have the white. I might have done it a little bit too big. You can crop it if you want to. Let's do that. Uh, where's the crop? Crop and click there. I'll bring it 
straight down to there. The width is fine, but it was just a little bit too um, high and click enter and go on to the move tool. If you want to get rid of the bounding box up to here, go up to view and show, click the show layers and then you can see what it is. But what you can see is you've got your white background and you can move however you want to do it. You can move the layers up and down. So if you wanted to move the hat on top of the model's head, highlight the layer and see this little green arrow. Click on that and it will take the layer up one at a time. And when it's at the top or when it's above, because it could be at the bottom, but as long as it's above the model's head, you can put it on it if you wanted to do that. If you don't, there you go. Um, this I wanted to show what the scarf looked like. And that's why I've blacked out the model there. And that's all you need to do. You make a white background and then you bring in the various items that you want by bringing them in as open as layers. Don't open, open as layers. And that means they all come into one image. And then what I would suggest you do is go up to File and Save As. Decide where you're going to put it. Uh, current Project. I would save it initially as a XCF. I'm going to call it Model Outfit. Uh, with a Mac, it defaults to XCF there. If you ha are on Windows and you haven't got that, you need to click by file ex extension and click on that and it will add it to there. Come off there and save. What you've done is you've, you've saved it as a mass deck retaining all the layers which means that if you think, well, I don't want that particular one, I want another one, you can open your image up again, remove that layer and bring another um, picture in as open as layers and add to. If you're happy with the picture and you're going to use it, we need then to go up to File and Export. Click there. And again, with a Mac, it defaults to PNG. But if you don't have a Mac, then have a look here and you will see all the file end endings and it's it's here somewhere there it is it there in alphabetical order and just click on that and wherever it's going to be and export i don't change any of these i just click export and there it is well i hope you uh, renetta you're able to do this now and anybody else who's watching the video that's all for now Bye-bye.